so today we'll be talking about tracking a disease or track back using ELISA or enzyme link immunosorbent assay. This method is important because it lets you track how the disease spreads to person to person. With that information, you can stop the disease from spreading and make a cure. Let's say person A got this disease, let's say measles. Person A will then proceed to spread it to everyone they have in contact with unless they have been vaccinated. The people who then got in contact with person A will spread it to everyone they get in contact with and so on and so forth. How ELISA works is it detects the substrate molecule or the antigen using antibodies. The first step would be to collect samples from people in the population. If there is an antigen, the primary antibody will attach to it. Because they both have specific shapes that connect like a puzzle, then you will add the secondary antibodies bind to the primary. On the secondary antibodies, there is an enzyme. The enzyme is a protein. After you add the substrate, which fits into the enzyme, they will allow, they will allow reaction to take place because the enzyme changes the substrate to a different molecule which is the color change, such as blue. Patients who therefore show a blue color change tested positive for the disease we were testing for, while anyone who doesn't tested negative. The reason why this is so important and doctors can't just say they have it is for a few reasons. One, you can have the disease but not show the symptoms. This is very common, and even though you don't show symptoms, you are still contagious. <coughs> so by the time you start showing, it's too late. Two, you can be a carrier. With some diseases, there are people who contact disease but don't show any symptoms. But they will still spread it to others who will show symptoms. That person was a carrier, and while they still have the disease, they just won't show it. Three, another thing is a doctor can misdiagnose you. Even if you're showing symptoms of this disease, the symptoms could be similar to another disease, such as an autoimmune disease can have similar symptoms to multiple sclerosis. But the medicine for both is very different. If you take the wrong one, it can cause more harm than good. Also, 1 out of 20 adults get misdiagnosed a year, so it's better to be safe than sorry.